First time I'm gonna try this, hanging outside in the garage. That is probably loud, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot, find out what works, find out what doesn't work. I need to start experimenting with this because this is a place that we might take advantage of. Actually, I know so. As you can see, got my weights in the back. That is where I lift weights with Kyle most of the time. Now, we don't wanna just be a generic fitness channel. You know, there's a lot of that going on and we're not that strong and we're pretty average, but we want it to be a part of our content. So we got some ideas coming up that aren't necessarily just fitness related, but are going to kind of be fitness related. We're gonna show you what we do. Um, and there's some other stuff that I've been working on that I'm not gonna show you that's sitting over there on the other side of the room. I'm working on setting up a workstation. That's gonna be as much as you're gonna know about it. And then I've been doing some outside projects that could affect this content. I don't know yet, we're gonna find out. So anyways, we got some things in the works that we're planning on doing with the vlog spot and we've been trying to evolve into that. And I think it's coming time now that the weather's getting better, um, certain building materials are becoming more available so there's some exciting things in the works and coming down the pipeline and it will change the format of the shows a little bit, which is good. It's what we intended. We didn't really intend to do so much talking. We wanted to do more doing, but to get it started and to create a backlog of content for people to look at is one of the things I don't like was when you see something new coming out and then the person really doesn't have anything for else for you to look at. And I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to launch, launch, and then launch, 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 <laughs> with some content to look at, something to chew on. And then you can learn about us as people a little bit and decide, you know, what you like and what you don't like. So I'm tired, my hands are tired. I've been working all this week, almost sun up to sundown um, on the house, doing different things. Had to get a new refrigerator, well, a backup fridge and built some shelves. I did a little outdoor landscaping project I'm going to finish up in the morning. Uh, I've got a toolbox, started organizing and going through stuff. Plan on making the work area in the basement for our project better. I want to get out here and start working with tools, start doing some different things that we got coming down there that ought to give you a hint or give you something to chew on. And then got an outside project that's going to be pretty big coming up. I don't really want to say anything. I don't want to give anything away. I don't want to let too many details out, but I'm super excited and planning for the future. And this week was supposed to be something about just me. And so with that being said, you know, if it's just about me and where I'm at with everything, as far as future goes, is that it's time. It's time to really start acting and doing and growing and moving and pushing forward. And I feel like there's been a state of contraction and now it's time for this expanding to take place. And I'm excited and that's where I'm at. I'm in this mode of growing and pushing and expanding and, and becoming something different and, and unique and dynamic and trying my best, right? I see a certain hole, a certain void that exists in media and I intend to fill that. And I intend to have Kyle help me do that. And I intend to him to intend for him to play an important role in this. And so that's what you're seeing and that's what, what's taking place. And I'm very excited, uh, very much ready to get this going, to do what we do. I wish I could be more specific, but I don't really wanna be because I wanna see how things evolve. Um, I'm gonna get my dad, I'll say that, I'm gonna get my dad involved. So the future of this will be more, you know, more personal. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have fun with this and do some cool things, you know, build some things, explore some things, program some things, lift and set some things down. And I really enjoyed spending a week talking about just myself on this in a way that I, I don't really open up. I don't share. I don't like these things too much because it kind of creates a vulnerable thing for you to where I think people like to use information about you against you. And I just don't like it very much. You know, as Elon Musk would say, it's an attack vector. Uh, I'm not a big fan, right? But you know what? I, it's time. I think that I need to focus on making connections with people and groups now 
more than just staying reclusive. It doesn't really help. And I feel like I would be more useful as an individual and just for our project uh, if, if I open up a little bit more. And so that's what I'm willing to do. And to me, it doesn't bother me what people feel or think really. I just don't, yeah, I just don't like playing into the, the thing where you feel like people got like, they, they group, they have a hierarchy, you know, whose suffering in life was worse or whose trauma was worse or uh, who's had it better or who's, you know, and I, I just don't like it. I don't like to give any fuel for that fire at all. And that's my primary reason for being kind of a private closed person. But you know what? I'm, I'm just going to start letting stuff out. It's time, you know, and I feel more comfortable being a little bit older, your, your head kind of feels more secure to your torso. And yeah, confident for lack of a better term, because I have been proven right in my own mind and my own heart enough to know, yeah, this is it, you know, this is how you do this. And that's where I'm at right now. And I feel very confident and ready and able you know, thanks for a lot of blessings in my life that are completely out of my control. I'm able to do this. I'm grateful to a lot of people. I'm grateful for a lot of the stuff that I have. And hey, you know what's great is when you are grateful, it's hard to be anything but filled with joy. You can't be filled with pride. You can't be filled with arrogance. You can't be filled with vengefulness. You can't be filled with anything but happiness. When you're truly grateful, it's the great equalizer. And, and you can be grateful for a lot of things, trust me. Even if you don't have a lot of things, you can be grateful for a lot of things and it's good to practice that. And that's where I'm at. And that's where I'm at and I'm wanting to just grow that and cultivate that sensation and that feeling. Can things be better? Of course. Could things be worse? Of course. Can things get worse? Of course. Can things get better? Of course. All of the possibilities, all of the things that I see, all of these people, groups, and spheres dealing with, yes, it can be that bad or it could be better. Yes, it could be better, or it could be this bad. Yes, it's getting better, but it's actually getting bad, or it's bad and it's getting better. There's so many of this push and pull, it's really hard for me to honestly quantify where we are at. And the best conclusion that I can come up with is that you need to be here and you need to be grateful for what you know you could be grateful for. And that's a great start to getting all this done. Now listen, I'm looking at the time, this is almost 10 minutes, I'm rambling, I'm getting too excited, so I'm gonna cut it off. This random vlog to cap off my thing was kind of current John and future John is what you're looking into here for the week of John. So take that for what it's worth and tune in next time. You know the drill. Peace.